Alright guys, so someone requested that I do the trials to show you them, or write them down, but I thought I'd do them because there are some tricky ones. And because he doesn't own the game on PC, that he can't test, he can't play the trials. So he wants me to show you the trials, so I'm going to do them. And talk through, basically, I might as well talk through what I meant to try and achieve by showing you this one. So, the first combo is basically just trying to show you that Crouching Light Punch is now cancelable in Ultra. But you have to do a bit of... A bit of linking, so you have to leave a little bit of space there. For that one. And the second one is exactly the same, but this time I wanted to basically show you Crouching Light Punch into Heavy Kick Katsu. That is possible, you know? So your third trial is basically your basic hit confirm off a crouching jab. You still do have to leave a bit of a gap after the standing light kick, so you could mess it up. But it just seems safe if you choose to um, do it. The only way it's not safe is if you wait too long and you hit them while they're blocking. Then it's not safe. So this next trial, every go, because you probably know this already, but it's your basic finish if you've got enough time to do it. Really. Okay, so this one is to basically teach you the close standing medium punch, crouching heavy punch link. So this one looks weird, isn't it? <laughs> do five dungeons in a row? No. Uh, basically, it's telling you you can do a close standing medium punch into EX Palm Strike. And I want you to do the dungeon, and I want you to, you know, get that extra hit, unlike what I just did then. Um, you need to charge it up and hold it for a little bit longer. Like that. Okay? Gives you that one extra hit, and it's always worth trying to do that, unless you're nervous or something and you think it will kill, so just let it go, you know? But generally, it's always worth doing it. And taking that uh, close down to medium punch, crouching heavy punch to the next level, this, this needs to be done near the corner. And anytime anything needs to be done near the corner, always check. Because it always shows up when you press select. I'll put near wall at the top. Okay. So. Like that. Okay. That's basically just getting that sort of hit confirm into your into your memory. Getting those links done. Basically hit confirm mid screen what you're going to do with it. And here's some options you can do. So you can end with a sweep for added pressure. Obviously you've got delayed wake up nowadays. So up to you. In Arcade Edition you'd follow that with a Demon Flip for a safe jump. Ready, go. You can always go for a crouching light kick into Heavy Kick Tatsu or any Tatsu. That's why it's not labelled. Heavy Kick is like a meterless but the X is good. Alright, so this one is to show you the power of the crouching medium punch. Okay, so you can go into EX Senkagoshoha from a close crouching medium punch, which is kind of what I was trying to show at that particular point. Alright, so this one needs to be done near wall, it says. So this is just basically adding together a lot more flash while keep using the crouching medium punch. So this one is your basic corner combo. It's going to be a corner reset in this instance. Um, I can't actually tell you what to do because trials don't allow resets, but most of the time it would be a demon flip grab that you'll see at the end. You don't have to do the grab on that part because I can't make you because trials don't allow it, but might as well. That's what I'm trying to go for. You can do a dive kick if you don't think they're going to show you can though. Alright, this is your basic Denjin combo of back row. Amazing. So good. So this one is to teach you that close down and medium punch combos into sweep. And if you do a, a really good jump in, you can get two closes. So if it goes far, you can't do it. Really good. I mean, if it's a far counter hit, you probably can. So just keep that in the mind. Ah, keep that in mind. Ready, go. 
Okay, another basic thing. Speed it up. Always really speed it up unless it puts them twice in the air or something. Generally speaking, it's always good to speed it up. Okay, so this is your basic grounded dungeon combo. Now, if I hold it, charge it, and jiggle, you've got enough time to get into situations where you can do anything you want, really. But let's assume we can not hold it and we just have to jiggle. You can always follow a medium punch path. Okay. Ah, so this combo is basically trying to teach you that you do not need to EX FADC the Shinshaw Yukin um, against some characters. I mean, you can do that, no problem. That's not a problem. But I don't want you cheating. Don't cheat. Do it really fast, and you'll get that. Now, some characters that we'll miss on, so be careful. Okay, so Trial 18 is pretty hard, mainly just because of the timing, to be honest. Overhead into Crouching Light Punch. The overhead is a counter hit. Ooh, wow, oh my god. Please. But it does help you look out for the counter hit, because there I only did it when I actually got a counter hit, and that's what you're looking for. So it's very good. Right, this next one. Basically, counter hit crouching light punch does connect into close heavy kick. Okay, so counter hit crouching light punch into close heavy kick works. But I took that out because it's so annoying, it really was. So it's just now the only real reason to use red focus for Goken is garbage. So um, close heavy kick will do it. So it's utilizing some of the things we've already learned. And the reason I went for Crouching Medium Punch after the focus attack is because against some characters, especially Dan here, like other ones can miss, which is really annoying. Like that. So we go for the Crouching Medium Punch. It's the same with Crouching Heavy Punch that can miss as well. So Crouching Medium Punch guarantees the connection really. Alright, trial 20 is. Okay, so the dive kicks hit stuns pretty lazy, so it'll teach you to hit, try and hit about the leg, leg area. And then it's also going to teach you that you, after a path strike, you can EX focus cancel, go into Denjin, even miss screen. Okay? I mean, you can cheat and do it in the corner, but don't. You've got to spin, you've got to jiggle. Make sure you're jiggling. It'll be good. Okay, this is your basic stun combo in the corner. Okay, I do it quite a lot. The damage isn't good, but the stun is, so... That's your stun combo. Obviously, after all that, the damage scaling, if you get a stun, it's going to be pretty... pretty bad, so hopefully that will build up the stun and one or two more hits will get you the stun. I normally like to go for the light kick reset after that, actually because that will mix them up. So this one is a bit of a peculiar one. It's mainly those two jumping medium punches. You can't do one jumping medium punch that hits twice because then nothing else will connect. So you have to make sure you hit them with the elbow only once. Okay, so on this trial, since our EX Tatsu is now godlike, you are gonna focus attack out of it at some point. So you can go into your ultras from it. Now in this combo, you've only actually got ultra one, so you have to do that. Now one thing you've got to say about this combo is if you're really close to them, I'm going to retry it, but if you're really close to them, you are going to switch sides, so you do have to change your inputs if you're really close. As you saw, I was quite max distance. You've got a lot of distance, so you can do it from here, and it's really easy to do. Um, but if you're here, then you are going to switch sides. Okay, so you might have to change your input based on that. And it fucks up. <laughs> Fucks up for Ultra 1, so Ultra 2 is still fine. 
for the Ultra One, it's uh, still possible. <laughs> just, just be careful with Ultra One, all right? I mostly pick Ultra Two anyway. But um, yeah, if you're if you're really close range, you are going to switch sides. All right, and the last combo is basically <laughs> just a flash combo with a taunt in it. You do need to be in the corner. All right. Okay, that's all the trials for Goken. Um, the next character is actually, I think, going to be Hugo. So I've, I've fully mapped him. You're going to have to, you're going to have to do some shortcuts though. There are some things which are going to be a little bit confusing for some people. So um, because he actually hasn't actually got a trial file. But, yeah, so look forward to that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.